hello and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Demon Slayer Twenty One Ninety Nine. Uh, this is Episode Four. <laughs> All right. Um, as I said before on Episode Three, uh, Episode Four is uh, focused on uh, company structure. Um, I guess the components of or defining me defining what I believe it should be or at least one of one of the many ways you can structure it um, but uh, as uh, uh, the, the reason for me um, thinking of it this way because um, I've always heard and seen uh, folks and companies talking about um, uh, what was it, folks, uh, what was it, in, in, di in particular companies, like, you know, oh, I have, uh, seniority, and so on and so forth, and, and, um, even the folks that have seniority don't want to use their seniority, or, or, um, the, the folks that are seniors in their job, I uh, don't really have that much, um, I wouldn't want to say lack of experience, but they, they lack the drive to be in any type of leadership position. Like, they know, they know what the job is, they know what the work is, they, um, don't have that drive to, uh, as it were, to, to help or push others to, you know, to strive for the best or to um, get the job moving when it comes to having other people underneath them um, with having that that authoritative authority author, authoritarian ability um, that's just my experience um, so This structure is geared towards more of um, more of on that on that ilk of uh, so then everyone knows what what's going on as far as okay so no matter how long you've been working for the company um, if you are um, not motivated to be in a leadership position um, then you know, I mean that's that's on that's on you as the individual to to not um, have that seniority. It's like um, well, I'm basing everything off of a, a what was it a military ranking, um, so that uh, it's easier to understand and it's more cut and dry. You know, being uh, ranked as an um, as far as in a position that you're in and uh, pay and um, your your uh, ability to be in in a leadership position um, is all based on that rank and um, not gonna get too crazy with the uh, delving into it but um so it, it it is based on uh rank from uh but this will go from e0 to e12 um and all the e's you know uh, would be considered blue collar you know the people the folks you know, working with their hands, trade workers like myself, um, would be under that that line, um, and then those that are uh, that are, I guess, office workers, um, science worker uh, folks, um, white collar folks, uh, would be O one through twelve. You know to and so depending on um, 
their level of of leadership, you know, that would go up in rank and so on. Um, you know, something to to give an official thing about what where people's skills and uh, mindset are, instead of you know just meeting uh, Joe Schmo out in the street and you know be like, okay, well, who the fuck are you? Like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, it, it, yeah, because you know everyone should be treated the same, right? But then, you know, most folks, um, some folks, I guess, want to just know where they're, where they're, where they stand and where they want to be as far as, like, like, I want to aspire to that position, you know, even, even when you're doing your day-to-day, um, that'd be, uh, like, uh, like personally, I think, like, I see, you know, a uh, a person that's above me doing what they're doing, uh, as far as being in a place of, um, it's something to aspire to, you know, uh, basing it off of what I've seen, you know, um, with a uh, with folks wanting to. Know, move up in in their living situation and their day-to-day life and, and not wanting to struggle um you know so something to, to work towards something to aspire to uh and that's some not something to hold people down with um and i've met people that you know are are fine just doing the uh, day-to-day stuff um you know straight up i've had people that i've worked with in my in my trade that are like you know what I just just want to go in just want to go in work my eight to ten hours whatever twelve hours you know eighty hour shift maybe and, and just be home you know just be done with it and go home and um, just live my life work get my money enjoy life whatever I mean everyone doesn't need to aspire to be great you know sometimes they just just want to live you know and, go about their life and whatever um that's fine Uh, it's it's not for everyone uh i've I've met these people and they're 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 pretty cool i mean it's just that ain't me (laughs) i i i I don't know it's just like i said uh before in a couple episodes ago it was just you you got this thing inside you, you 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 need to push forward you need you need to you want to overcome, you, you always want to do better, you always want to, to grow, you know, you always want to um, create new things, um, build new things, if that's different, right, um, you, you always uh, have this internal cauldron burning, bubbling up inside you, saying that you, you need to do these things. And it's up to you to, to to freaking pour what you have inside you into the mold and and make it real, you know. Um, so you you have to plan these things out. Um, but um, going back to the structure, I think that um, it, it it helps organize things. Um, because you know I like to organize things, but uh, more more on paper than anything else. Uh, so so if if you aspire to uh, move up in your department uh, as far as leadership is concerned, um, the, the position of moving up in leadership um, there has to be an available slot. Um, you also need to have um, experience and/or knowledge in in um, in the leadership or uh, in that department or that sector of that department that you're you're trying to achieve. Um, you also need time in in service of that department or position uh, before moving up. Um, these are f- different factors to to. 
to allow, I guess, those that are moving you up to, to figure out, you know, if you're best suited for this position. Um, another thing is, is that uh, the fourth qualification is uh, what I wrote down. Uh, the ability to have the skills or the skills to have to be able to or skills to be able to improve or maintain the health of the department. Um, yeah, because you, you just don't want someone in leadership pulling everything down. Um, that's just, you know, um, you know, common sense, I suppose, uh, or something that you would want. Uh, is, is someone to improve the department, um, improve the area, improve uh, the folks, and not someone to uh, pull the department down and make things worse and uh, create a, a, a system of, of blame. Um, you know, this, this, if you're going to move up, even if it's just a little bit, you know, just, you know, instead of having a, a crew of, you know, 50 or 100 people or so on and so forth, you know, you have, you know, moving up in, in, um, in your position, you, uh, even if it's just two or three people, you have to be accountable for your, for your folks. You can't, you can't just be like, hey, you know, they fucked up, you know, you know, blame them. You know, you can't you can't do that. Uh, being in a leadership position, you have to be aware of your folks, and you know you gotta you gotta be accountable for for their actions because that that falls on you know being a leader. Um. So, so you always have to improve or maintain, uh, the level or the standard of that department. Um whatever department it may be I mean but uh, but yeah it's okay so the next thing is uh, moving up in pay in your department or slash position uh, which is somewhat of the same um, uh, points you know time served would be the first one Second one, knowledge and experience. Are you are you growing? Are you uh, uh, improving upon what you've known? Um, are you are you helping those around you? Um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and then third thing uh, is a record of maintaining good health in the department. So are you you know showing uh, that you're there on time? Or at least they're improving on the health of the department, um, and not necessarily uh, costing the department <laughs> more than it's more than it's worth. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't. If you're like life happens, I I don't I don't think you should uh, reprimand people for being tardy to work. Uh, just because life happens, uh, things happen, you know, if you have family, you know, people get sick, you know, just, if you're going to come to work, come to work, if you're going to be calling off of work, you know, oh well, right, uh, but it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, you know, because you, you need to make a living, so we all understand that and whatnot, um, but yeah, you know, they're, they're, you know, side, side, sidebar, you know, with vacation and sick time, you know, that's accumulated, um, every month you get, um, uh, both sick time and vacation hours, but that's something that could be hashed out in another video, um, but, uh, but yeah, like, I don't believe people should be reprimanded for, for being late to work, because I mean, it, you, you show up, you know, half hour late, hour late, you know, or, you know, whatever. You, if you come in and do your job for the amount of hours that you work, you get paid for. Unless you want to, you know, use your sick time or vacation time, then that's on you. You know, that's that's fair. Um, uh, 
so the next one is moving to another department upwards or sideways so uh, it's somewhat the same if you're gonna move up uh, in position um, somewhat similar to moving up in your department but uh, moving into a different department it's like you, have, you know there has to be the availability there has to be the knowledge and experience so 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 if you if you can bring whatever you have as far as knowledge and experience from your department to the new department if it's somewhat similar you know there, there's some leeway there um, now if you uh, if you've been doing your due diligence and taking classes uh, in your own time uh, and uh, and learning and getting the job experience on your time uh, then that would be uh, accounted for uh, the other fourth thing is uh, required skills met so that would be under if you are moving into the new department there there is that um, 90 day uh, trial period or I think in some pl in places like it would be a year uh, trial oh yeah my mic is still on um, no that you would uh, try out uh, in that position and if your superior uh, deems that you will you know that you can do the work and continue to learn and improve uh, within the amount of time uh, after the fact, um, then you you can you get that position uh, that you are shooting for. Um, I guess a good example would be uh, you know if you if you started off in the janitorial department and you've been going to classes for um, or you've been you know going into that department tell your superior that you want to move to another department and you know you pretty much sit down um, with uh, the place that you want to move to uh, and you talk to them you, you, everyone knows where you're trying to go to um, in your next step uh, they'll, they'll t take you on uh, on your free time like after you've done your regular job it is up to you, right, with working with this new department, um, to to have that on job training um, after after your normal work hours. Um, you got to you got to give that extra step to learn, and then um, if there's special training involved, like getting a certification, um, then instead of just on the job training you switch it up with um, uh, what is it, uh, the learning material uh, which could be um, what is it like a textbook or because uh, I I don't feel like you need a freaking diploma or uh, you know like a master's degree or you know a bachelor's degree or stuff like that I feel that if you you know the material and you could prove your 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 worth in in the knowledge of, of this material and what you what you need to get into and do, like like oh a diploma doesn't really you know give you much. Like yes, you spent so many years in school, but you lost so much in like actual work experience. Um, because you know that's what a freaking go getter is. You know you're out there doing the thing. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's like you, you like the textbooks are out there, uh, information's out there, and, and you just you just have to learn them. Uh, but the com the company itself uh would be a part of that whole situation because you're investing your time in bettering yourself and in growing yourself. I mean, why not the company help you out? Um and understanding what you want but you have to make the move on telling the company telling your superiors you know to put that on put that on paper that, that you want to move you know like have a freaking plan of growth um, you know because that 
and that should be one of the things that uh, when you're hired into the company that you'll have that growth plan of where you want to be in so many in so much time and you know where like it's the same thing you do in school like oh this is the degree I want towards the end uh, well that's the way I believe some most or all companies should have um, is to have that end goal like this is where I'm where I'm to be you know <laughs> before I'm you know so and so age or so many years um, you know and everyone shoots for the top but not everyone can make it there you know and you know try as you might you know just like nothing's impossible but some things are beyond some people's reach you know and I know that I've I've shot the moon or shot at the moon a couple of times and fell very short <laughs> uh, yeah so um, but yeah I, 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 it was it was it was interesting I've gotten fired one once or twice um, shooting for the moon uh, but yeah, it's it's a necessary risk, uh, you know, when you want to be somewhere and do something, um, as far as what you want to do in life. Uh, and if I if I had never shot for that that level, that higher up level, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, and um, I'm I'm very grateful that. go-getter um, I, I feel uneasy just like sitting there and being stagnant uh, in my day-to-day -day or my, my work life um, anyways so as far as moving to a different position or sideways into a different um, moving into another department sorry uh, and sideways as far as you're on the same level but you, you you want to move into a different department in that same level, or you want to move up into a leadership position in a different department. Um, the company and all these things will be a part of that, um, because the company and everyone in the company wants everyone to improve upon themselves, to you know to to move up and, and do the things they want to do. Um, now, for those that don't want to do it, you know that's good. I mean, you, you that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. You know, you just, we're not going to force any of this on people that don't want to do it. I mean, it's just wasting your time, wasting our time. You know, the whole shebang. You know, it's not for everybody. Like I said before. Um, so the grand scheme of this uh, is that the the company itself, uh, structure-wise, uh, what was it? Um, it, it? I was thinking about it before I heard uh, one company. Um, I don't know if this is right, but I. I uh, I knew that there was. Uh, I, I, I looked it online, and uh, apparently,
Alright, test, test, test. Alright, so... Where did I about at? So, focus. Alright, let me go back a few clicks, because I don't know where it dropped off. So, I, I feel that... Um, so... Don't know where I left off at. Uh, okay, so long story short, if I don't know where I left off at, but um, talking about town cities, I feel that um, everyone in the town or city um, is part of the company. Um, case in point, like uh, well, Samsung in China, uh, there is probably a town town or city there or metropolis that is 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 governed or ran by or funded by samsung and um i feel that everyone in the in the city and town um baker um butcher uh, uh the city ordinances power whatever is is ran by the company is owned by the company and um Having that small town feel um, in a city um, where everyone is part of something greater, helping each other, um, grow, growing, uh, developing, um, and so having a, having the company um, have like these grocer, like a grocer, um, and uh, the manager there. And all the employees, they're helping develop that connection uh, with, let's say, the employees of the grocer. They're, you know, wanting to be a manager or be able to develop their skills to be like, yeah, I want, I want to build a chain or of grocers, or I want to be a district manager. So. That is on the job training uh, of wanting to do that or if they didn't desire that 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 may be something they desire later on so they develop these skills in the company to either cr build it outside the company or um, you know in other companies if they want or they could you know Build another branch in another town city of, of for the company, because um, you know uh, everyone everyone's involved. You know their families, their children, their neighbors. They're all uh, inter interconnected uh, in the company doing that particular job in any of the services. Um, and sometimes you know you you, could, you get to a certain level and you know you. you you're like, you know what, you know, I just, I want to step it back, you know, I'm, I'm at such a high level, you know, let's, let's roll it back, I want to go to a different, you know, I want to be in more of an easy going, you know, without uh, making all the decisions, you know, I just, I just want to chill out and retire, you know, get on the, to that track of, you know, my last, you know, five or ten years, you know, just want to chill out, you know, you, you can do that, um, Right, uh, or if the company uh, expands as far as within within a region, or you know, in another region, uh, you know, you can go off and in, into that branch and develop that area. Um, that that's that's kind of like the structure I wanted to go for is is from the ground up um, where the company. Is developing these skills like um, like oh like a, what is it like a like a city ordinance type of maintenance where it goes around and uh, you know putting in uh, what is it uh, power lines or, or or cable or you know the fiber optic kind in the city or setting up a fully uh, what is it wireless system for for a city you know something to, to 
so so folks can learn about these systems that they're they're trying to um, get into. Um, so have all that on-the-job training um, of installing and maintaining and uh, improving. Um, that's that's pretty much the driving force of the company um, or of you know what the company that that I would like to uh, develop. Um, so so pretty much everything uh, is going to be. Because uh, I, I do like the the fact that there are uh, certain certain towns in uh, Japan that has a very extensive uh, recycling program. So there's like zero waste. Um, so they, they'll pretty much uh, recycle 90% of everything, um, as well as reuse. So so plastic products are used less but they are also reused um, and then a lot of the biological stuff is um, is turned over to um, what is it one of those processing plants uh, for uh, fertilizer and mulch and all that fun stuff so it's you know put back into the earth and you know recycled that way um, but yeah I, I kind of feel that definitely do better in, in recycling programs on a uh, personal level um, since certain towns and cities are so large there's a lot lost in, in the um, in the waste management programs um, not enough product is recycled and then we have a lot of this these products that are um, uh, was it multi-layered and different Different things, um, like these, uh, what is it? These milk cartons um, that you get your uh, little little shakes in. They're, you know, it's a, it's like a multi-layered thing of plastic, uh, aluminum, and uh, cardboard, and it's just like, whoa. <laughs> um, I I don't know if they are able to recycle that, um, but yeah, it's, it's just hard to figure out where everything lies when you start having these multi-layer um, products um, but you know that's getting into the nitty-gritty of it um, as far as okay so another thing uh, is housing uh, it's housing is directly proportional to depends on where you want to live and then you know there, there's like a whole uh, program about uh, pay with living so hold up let me refocus all right um so uh so there are multiple levels of of housing um and each one is proportionate to how much you are earning um, so, let me drink some water here before I get all dried out. Alright, so, um, so if you are a, uh, single person, uh, you know, one bedroom, one bath, kitchenette type of studio loft situation would be, like, the thing, would be the thing that you'd be uh, living in, um, and you know that goes. Uh, so all the living, so there's a uh, standard base pay that you get, um, and your living costs would be deducted from your pay. Yeah, like, but you get a standard living situation, um, not necessarily you know like not. <laughs> Because I've been in some pretty shady places, and that's mainly the reason why um, the, the city town would be owned by the company. Because it'd be like a standard set of living for the different levels. Uh, 
and you know they won't they would, they would be they would be like well maintained areas um so so okay so you know first level is the one bedroom one bath studio loft area situation um and that's usually you know for your person that is single um and then it moves up from there um to a larger one bedroom one bath with a living room and kitchenette area um and then now once you start developing larger you know start moving up for the larger pay you know you start getting into larger uh, living situations um, so for example I have here you know just shooting it out there basic structure brainstorming trying to figure out you know everything so don't get all busy but yeah so uh, up towards a level seven uh, living situation would be a three bedroom, two bath, you know, with uh, with a full kitchen, full living room, um, uh, you know, and that doesn't even uh, go for, you know, like if you're if you're married, you know, it's just like if you're at that level, like let's say, okay, you could be making whatever amount of money, you know six figure salary and you're like I just want to live into a one bedroom one bath like I don't I don't give a damn about my living situation I'm just gonna fucking roll with it and whatever that's fine no one no one should look you know at you funny I mean I mean listen yeah if you, it's up to you what you want to do with your with your with your monies um you're not going to be forced into living into a bigger house. Um, so, pretty much from level 1 through level 10, it's uh, apartment living, townhome living. You know, you're attached. Um, from level 11 up is detached, um, single home, single family home. Um, so, it, they get pretty big. Um, so, I believe. Uh, detached homes uh, start at level 11, um, which is a five bedroom, 4.5 bath. You know, that, just to throw out um, ideas, uh, trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, it's just that's what I kind of feel that that works. So none of this. Ma like, this is for a single person. Like, yes don't need to be married to get to the upper levels or whatever or you know com with a companion you know partner whatever whatever you want to call them um but yeah it's so there there's a lot of uh, variations to to the one and two bedroom and the three bedroom um throughout the levels um because you know different variations in Wages, your your ability to afford the space, you know, because uh, the company has to pay for that, uh, you know, and you're helping pay for it. So there's that. So you can't you can't get a you know ten bedroom house, you know, with uh, a level one set of wages. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so. And everyone has to, like, you know, have that motivation to move up, <laughs> you know. And so, if you do decide to um, share living costs, because like if you're dating somebody and they're in the same situation, you do decide to file the paperwork to live together, um, as far as living costs. Then, then yes, you can move into a uh, another tier that is equate to to your work that wage.
for both of y'all. So yeah, um, but that's something y'all decide, you know. Um, but yeah, now if it's uh, now it can go as far as you know a bunch of y'all, you know, decide to live together in a, in a house together in a living situation that's also doable um, I mean that's that's something on the individual you know that there's nothing preventing you from doing that um, I think that's it and I've gone into the 45 minute mark yay um Parks and Recreations. Um, since it's ran and uh, owned by the company, well, if it's one, it's owned by the company, but it's ran by uh, the individual. Like those that want to learn and uh, pursue those job skills would be running it. Um, now. The budget for that, uh, I guess, would be all uh, dependent on what what kind of parks and recreations are are being developed, um, or would want the folks of the town, city, would want to develop. Um, because you know, I was thinking, uh, yeah, uh, nature parks, great, you know. Walking trails, hiking trails, beautiful. Um, now, an actual amusement-style park might be doable uh, seasonally, as far as a water park um, or uh, some type of amusement, um, like um, a fair. But I know that that would be something that. That would have to, uh, I guess, be delved into uh, in detail uh, later on. Um, but just you know, brainstorming, just throwing out, a, out ideas. Um, but as far as transit is concerned, because I'm sure people are focused on like, what about vehicles? What are we gonna do? And well, there would be. Uh, a subway or a rail system uh, in place in the city in the town um, depending on how big everything is and a uh, public car system um, like you see in some some of the town cities here uh, like zip car um, and maybe a uh, mm, an uber type of situation uh, as far as personal vehicles uh, still, still thinking about that. That would be great, but um, I'm, I'm more focused in on the traffic, traffic aspect. So, so if there are folks that are decide to not live in the city or the town, uh, then yes, you know, those folks will bring in their vehicles for from wherever they, you know, originally come from. Um, uh, I think the benefits living in the city or town would be greater for 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 the individual, but um, uh, convenience. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's it uh, as far as structure company wise is concerned. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, let me know, comment, um, let me know what you think, um, let me know if there's anything to add, uh, definitely can do more detailed late in later videos, um, what else, um, comment, subscribe, hit the, uh, burp, 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 notification bell thing over over there um 
because I post randomly, so, you know, um, thanks for watching, my name is, uh, Demon Slayer 2199 and, um, uh, peace out stuff, episode four, everybody, yeah!